Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. We're going to talk about gentamicin uh, with the help of my colleague Dr. Rebecca Venables. So gentamicin is only really used in hospital in the UK, especially when it's administered parenterally. Um, you do see it in ear and eye drops, but not too often. It's sometimes used to treat a bit of otitis media. But when you administer it parentally, it's useful for pseudomonas infections and any kind of sepsis. The only bacteria that it's really not useful against is anaerobes. Okay, the problem with gentamicin though is it's really toxic. It's both ototoxic, so people go deaf, so you need to speak up to your patients and check that they can hear you okay. But also, the needs, um, you need to check the renal function because it is nephrotoxic and it tends to accumulate in patients with renal function uh, difficulties or renal failure. So you need to test both baseline level, baseline renal function, and also during treatment. To try and avoid this toxicity, what we actually do with gentamicin is some therapeutic drug monitoring. So we'll actually take plasma levels of the drug itself. And as you can see quickly behind me, that's a kind of example of uh, plasma concentration against time with the drug. So with gentamicin, if we're doing a multiple dose regimen, so a multiple daily dose regime, we actually look for peak levels, which occur about an hour, half an hour, an hour after you've administered the drug, and trough levels, which you take just before you administer the drug. And what we're looking for is to try and get the concentration in between these two lines here. And that's the therapeutic window. When the concentration's too high, you get a toxic drug, okay? When it's too low, the drug won't work, and you'll develop either resistance, and you won't actually treat the infection. So what do you do if the, um, the plasma levels are in the wrong place then? Okay, so let's say we have a peak level in the toxic regime. All we have to do is reduce the dose. So say we're administering 500 milligrams four times a day. We've reduced that to say 300 milligrams four times a day. If your trough level is too high and in the uh, toxic zone, what we'd actually do is increase the spacing of the dose. So say you're administering it every six hours, we might reduce that to every eight hours, every 12 hours or so. And that's how we manage people. You have to make sure we keep an eye on the renal function as well, because then it's likely to accumulate and your trough levels are likely to increase. Hope that helps. You can also administer gentamicin once a day, and you do that with the aid of something called a heart phenomenogram, and we'll discuss that some other time. Thank you very much.